Smart Students Book, page 28. 4. A Cake for a Queen. Harry was a cook. He worked in Stonewall's castle, where he had to cook all the meals for Queen Alice. The Queen was very unkind, and she often made Harry's job very difficult. Harry and his two helpers, Matt and Hugo, worked hard in the castle kitchen every day. But Queen Alice never gave them any money, so their families only ate cold vegetables. They were hungry and unhappy most of the time, and Queen Alice was angry most of the time. Nothing could make her smile. One day, she called Harry and said, I hate birthdays, but next Friday I will be 50 years old, so make a birthday cake for me. I want you to put 50 kinds of food in this cake, and it must be the largest and the best cake I have ever tasted. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Harry said and went back downstairs to the kitchen to tell Matt and Hugo the bad news. Matt and Hugo tried to think of things to put in the cake. We could put eggs, a strawberry jam and lots of butter and milk in it, Hugo said. What else can we put in it? Harry asked. We can put flour, honey, uh, mangoes and brown sugar in it too, Matt said. OK, well, that's eight different things. What else? Harry asked again. How about some kiwi juice, apples, coffee, carrots and chocolate? And a little pepper too, said a child who suddenly appeared in the kitchen. Harry didn't know her, but she looked kind and friendly. Thank you, he said. Those are wonderful ideas. Soon, they had 49 different kinds of food on the table. Matt and Hugo began to mix everything together in an enormous bowl. But Harry soon stopped them. We've got a problem, he said. We've only got 49 things to put in this cake, but the Queen wants 50. We need one more thing. The girl took a pear from her pocket and said, Here, this is for you. It's from my grandmother's very special pear tree. It'll make the cake taste really delicious. Harry took the little pear and added it to all the other food in the bowl. Thank you very much, he said. Now let's cook this cake. Harry, Matt and Hugo carried the cake carefully to the big old oven. Then they went outside to work in the vegetable garden. The girl waved goodbye and disappeared into the wood that was next to the castle. An hour later, Harry went back to look at the cake. But when he opened the kitchen door, he couldn't see the table, the oven or the stone steps that went up to the Queen's dining room. The room was full of cake. He broke a piece off and ate it. Wow! Mm. This cake tastes fantastic! He laughed. It's the largest and the most delicious cake that I've ever made. The Queen looked out of her window. What's happening down there? She called. And where's my birthday cake? We've made it, Harry answered. But it's so enormous, we can't get back into the kitchen. That means you can't bring me my dinner yet. And I didn't eat enough lunch, so I'm still hungry, Queen Alice shouted. She looked really angry. Do something, quickly! Harry looked at Matt and Hugo. We must eat the cake, he said, because we can't get back into the kitchen until we do. The three cooks began to eat the cake 
and each day the cake got more and more delicious. And each day the three cooks got happier and happier. Their wives and children came to eat the cake too. And soon all the people from the village came to help eat the cake. Everyone forgot their problems and started to smile again. The girl watched from the top of a tree in the wood and smiled too. The people from the village were getting happier and happier, but Queen Alice was getting hungrier and hungrier and angrier and angrier. She could only eat dry biscuits and she could only drink rainwater from the little gold cup that she left outside her window. The cooks, their families and the people from the village finished eating the cake on the morning of the Queen's birthday. Harry put the last piece on a beautiful silver plate and carried it carefully up the stone steps. He didn't feel frightened of the Queen now. He felt happy and brave. Here's the most delicious piece of your birthday cake, Queen Alice, Harry said. I hope you enjoy it. Queen Alice looked at Harry, took the cake, ate it slowly and smiled at him. She's never, never, never done that before, Harry thought. The Queen smiled again. I can taste 49 kinds of food in this cake. But what's the last one? It tastes better than anything else in the world, she said. It's a very special pear, Harry answered. A kind and happy little girl gave it to us to put in your cake. Yes, I did, the girl in the wood whispered. My grandmother's kindness and happiness are in your cake too. Happiness and kindness were our present to you and to everyone in the village. Happy birthday, your majesty.